Welcome back to the Variety Tarot Reading with your girl Chanel. Today we're going to be jumping behind the scenes of an event that happened in the UK and it included the Princess and Prince of Wales, Catherine and William. Now, what happened this night was quite unusual okay a mix all the magic the illusions the jokes okay the singing and the dancing there was something that stood out that most people ignored did Catherine need help that night did she receive the help was she ignored did they think it was all jokes and games we're gonna find out today so let's follow the trails of clues that led up to the tweet that was put out by one of the magicians okay now if you guys have been following the readings we have been seeing a magician show up in some of the readings and I do talk about that you know magician tricks the illusions girl I thought that was William but come to find out there was a magician that was in the mix when it came to the prince and the princess and that we could have ignored matter of fact a lot of people could have ignored it so we're going to go behind the scenes of the royal variety unbelievable show did kate need help that night okay follow along here we go now the show uh, was put on by royal variety the name of the show was called unbelievable unbelievable now the magician of the night was darren brown they said, Pre prepare to be amazed by Darren Brown, unbelievable show. This magic and illusions of the highest order. Okay, that's already sounding majestic, mysterious. Okay, it's a lot going on here. This unbelievable show. They had a lot of different per um, performances. That's It's a variety show. Kind of like the Lucille Ball show and... You know, Kara Burnett shows. I those the variety shows I remember. So there's a lot of things that's taking place here at this show: singing, dancing, a lot of performances, uh, skits, magic. So it seemed like it could have possibly been a very good night. Now, this right here, the Royal Variety posted this on December the 17th of 2023. As you can see, this is Darren, the magician that's on stage. He's I, at the, I guess this is at the point that he was giving his performance or speaking to the crowd for sure okay so we move on to where this was taking place and when did this take place they said we're thrilled that esteemed entertainer actor and presenter Bradley Wash is to host the Royal Variety Performance of 2023 so this seems like this is an annual show that's being put on all the time so people look forward to it be the who's who's of the Royal that show up to the show and it happened on November the 30th of 2023. They said amongst this year's amazing lineup will be the legendary Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony Award winner Cher. So yes, Cher was in the building. So this is the flyer they put out. They got this royal um, symbol here. This took place at the Royal Albert Hall. So as you can see, this is the entry, at least one of the entry ways to get into the Royal Albert Hall. Now, they also announced at the Royal Variety that we are thrilled that the Prince and the Princess of Wales will be our special guest at the Royal Variety performance at the Royal Albert Hall. We are excited that the Crown Prince of Sweden and Prince Daniel will be joining us on November the 30th. So they invited the royals to the show. Now, as far as I can see, it seems like every year they try to have a royal to show up. Not only they have a lot of performances, but they want somebody from the royal family, whether it's from Kensington or from Sweden or another country. So they always invite royals. So this particular night was the Prince princess of sweden and also the prince and the princess of wales so they have a picture here i'm assuming this is an older picture maybe from another variety show that they had because they was posting different pictures that they could have taken from different events and posted it for this night and so this is one of those pictures and as you can see catherine and 
William are looking eye to eye. They seem like they in a good mood. It seemed like things were good when they took this picture. Maybe. Because Prince William, girl, he giving me this look of Catherine while you're looking at me like that. And it's like she looking at him like, I'm going to tear you up tonight. Who knows, okay? It seemed like she was really feeling her husband at this point. He probably was looking good to her. So she was definitely looking in his eyes. This seemed like a genuine smile here. But the thing about him, it seemed like it almost made him a little uncomfortable like okay Catherine I get it okay I don't know what it is that why he's looking at her like that because Catherine's beautiful so you should be happy that your wife is looking at you like that it seemed like you guys are having a good time and of course we got the princess of Sweden and Prince Daniel right here next we have them possibly entering the Albert Hall you see a Prince William and Princess Catherine entering now, they was signed up to do a meet and greet that night, which means they was meeting all the who's who's, of course, the performances. Everybody was really delighted to meet with them. So they had they met with a lot of people that night. And as you, as you can see, somebody gave Catherine a bouquet of flowers as she was walking in. And then you see Prince William over here talking and chatty. Oh, chatty patty, baby. And then you see Catherine over here. Catherine has a curtain bang. So her curtain bangs are kind of covering up most of her face. It seems like they, the curtain bangs stayed a lot in her face that I noticed here when it came to the pictures. Now you see Catherine and William talking to different people. It seems like sometimes they're talking to different people at different times. But most of the time, it's just the camera angle. Sometimes, just like in this picture, you would think that Catherine is talking to this man by herself. But here's also the same picture of, of William talking to him as well. And then you can see Catherine to the side. Even though they're standing side by side, Catherine is over here meeting with this, this gentleman right here while William is talking to this man right now. So everybody delighted to meet with, you know, the prince and the princess of Wales. Now, Catherine, the thing about Catherine is she keep this smile, this royal smile. You know, they have public training. You know, they go through all type of training so that when they're in the public, that they don't give out any type of red flags or, or I guess, misbehavior or, or they always pose and pro poise and proper when they're out in public. And so almost giving out that everything is perfect and fine and i'm like why do you have to practice that if everything is perfect and fine i don't understand that but Catherine had this smile on the whole time every time the well most of the time that the camera was on her she had this smile so you can see them right here it seemed like william got a box in his hand i don't know somebody gave him a gift i thought it was a box of snacks but no it seemed like somebody gave him a gift possibly Catherine sitting here with her hands folded she carried a little small clutch glittery purse you know, she had her jewels on. Again, her curtain bangs, her, her royal smile. They're meeting with all different types of people. Everybody was happy to shake their hands. Now, when I got these pictures right here came from the Royal Palace official website. So, this seemed like either Prince was posting these pictures or maybe his assistant. You know, I don't know who run their, their Twitter page. But this is at, at the um, Kensington Royal page with the prince and princess of wales now they share a twitter page i don't understand why Catherine can't have her own page and he have his own but you know i can't tell these people what to do so what they posted as the caption for the night it says what a show a huge thanks to all the performers performers and everyone behind the scenes for making the royal variety performance happen you know, so a blanket statement saying that he had a good time and he was very appreciative of the show. And then next, we still have more meet and greets. You can see again that William and Catherine are side by side. Catherine still smiling. I don't understand why William don't have to have his royal smile on 24-7 like Catherine. It seems like that smile that she puts on can be tiresome. Like, girl, my cheeks hurt. I can't smile like this all night. But if you want to be the queen, girl, you have to. But even the queen herself, Queen Elizabeth, did not smile a lot in public. She kept this saying, like, like, okay, I'm here, darling. Okay, and this is all you get. Me and my hat. But princess, I guess if you marry into the family, it's like, girl, you better look like you're happy 24-7. Okay, we don't want to see you unhappy at all. Literally. So, because she smiled all the time. Now, you can see also here that the prince is meeting with Cher. 
Okay, so it seemed like he was at very much honored to meet her. He giving her a straight eye gazing. He looking eye to eye with her. She's smiling. Cher just is not aging. Cher just looking good. Okay, Cher is blessed. I guess after she survived the marriage with with um, her ex-husband. What was his name? Bono? I can't think of his, his name at this moment. But they had they had a variety to show. Remember when they had the variety to show back in the day? If you was, you know, born to see it. I, my grandma used to watch it. I saw that. I think I caught it at the probably the last year or two that they had the show. You know, so Cher was beautiful then. And it seemed like she is beautiful this night as well. And like I said, William is very much into meeting Cher. He probably was happy to meet her that night. Okay, I would too. So he's like, he's holding her hand a little longer than usual. Then again, this is a picture, I don't know, but it seems like he's he's very engaged with her. You hardly ever see him engaged with Catherine like that, but that's neither here nor there. And then again, they're still side by side. They're meeting with different performances. This is like somebody that could have been in the show that could have been a performer. But then again, this could have been a rock band as well. You see, they have, they meet with four guys right here. Catherine is looking at William speak. William, like he's straining to speak, okay? It seems like he's strained, have a little strain, strain in his in his neck area. But he's talking to the people, meeting and greeting. Catherine's shaking hands with this lovely lady right here. And then right now, you can see that William is in, is looking at Catherine at this moment. And he still got that strained kind of look. That strain, like, you know, you're straining in the side of your neck. I don't know why he's doing that, okay? He didn't have that strain in his neck when he was talking to Cher. Now he's seeing like he's a little tense. Now, it could be me. I'm just reading body language. I just looked at the pictures that I was pulling up. Because, again, these pictures are coming in as a video. So I was screenshotting very fast. This is a video that was on the Kensington Royal Twitter page. Okay? So I was just capturing the pictures. Okay? The still shots, if you will. So maybe I'll call him at a bad angle. I don't know. But you see Catherine still putting on that smile and seemed like she was hiding a lot behind those curtain bangs. Because the curtain bangs are cute, but they seem a little dramatic. Now, maybe at this point, you know how bangs are. They'll grow out. And then you may decide, okay, no, I don't want to retrim them, recut them again. So I'm going to let them officially grow out. So maybe they was officially growing out, but I feel like it was very heavy in her face. And I don't know how Queen Elizabeth, if she was here, how would she feel about all that hair being in her face like that? But then again, it seemed like she may have been hiding behind her curtain bangs. Or maybe they just full that night. I don't know. Now, you see Catherine here. Again, I don't know if she's meeting with this man by herself. Or is this just an angle shot and William is right there? Maybe William went to the bathroom. I don't know. But Catherine is, look, is looking quite, you know, she's looking very thin right here sometimes she kind of the way she was standing if her posture is not 100 cent you can probably think okay is there something bulky up under her dress but then again sometimes she'll catch her she's looking very slim poised and proper and this is one of those pictures okay her hair is looking it still is covering a lot of her face and you know from her side profile you can't really see her face but you do see that there is a semi smile here it's not the official royal I'm happy and on cloud nine type of smile or that fake smile. It just seemed like a general, general relaxed smile when she's meeting with this person right here, shaking his hand. It's like she's standing back a little bit. Her back is straightened and, and kind of pulled a little bit away from the man. You know, not she don't, girl, she want to make sure that she don't give William any type of sign that she's flirting or doing too much. So she's like, she's standing a little bit back, but at the same time, engaging, shaking hands, having conversation. And then, okay, then I want to also show this picture again, you know, of her hair. You know, it seemed like she was walking in to the variety show here. Now, here's the infamous tweet and picture that everyone is here to speak about. This is her meeting with Darren Brown, who is the magician. You can see here. Now, in this picture right here, she is very much engaged when it comes to him. I got this picture kind of blown up a little bit. Now, this picture was posted on Williams and Catherine's page on the on their Twitter page this picture right here Now it again. It really wasn't a picture It was a 30 second video that I had to go through in real fast and screenshot So I got this screenshot of her speaking with Darren. She's now she's more engaged with Darren than she ever was with anybody else 
okay now she was polite and cordial with everybody but here it seemed like she either was very excited to meet the headliner the magician I don't even know if she met Cher. I didn't see a picture of her meeting Cher, but I'm sure she was beside him and she saw, met Cher as well. He's very engaged with her as well. He's giving direct eye contact. She's giving direct eye contact. Now, in her eyes this time, it almost looked like either she looking a little sleepy or it's almost like I see a, mi a mismatch, okay, between her smile and her eyes. Now, her smile seems genuine. And it seems more relaxed than a typical smile that seems like it's tight and hard. Like, oh, she's forcing it. She don't seem like she's 100% forcing it here. But her eyes look like they are screaming out for something. Either You know how your eyes look after you've been crying? And then you probably, let's say you were crying 24 hours before the event. And now you're showing up and you're trying your best to get rid of the bags. But your eyes are showing that there's some type of worry or weary that's in your eyes. It seemed like that right here. Now, again, I could have called her at a bad time. I don't know. But on Darren's Twitter page, he also has the same exact picture here. So I don't know if he screenshotted the picture or if this is a shot that he got from his photographers that night. But as you can see, Darren made a tweet. And he made this tweet on December the 14th, 2023. Now remember the event took place in November of uh, November 30th, 2023. So this is like probably 14, 15 days later, depending on how many days was in, in the month of November. Now what he tweeted is, he said, unbelievable. Now unbelievable, remember it's the name of the show. So he put in parentheses, unbelievable at the Royal Variety. Both were very lovely and terrific at the meet and greet. He just said both were lovely. He, he didn't name them. And we assuming because this is a picture of Catherine that he's talking about the prince and the princess of Wales. It said, incidentally, okay, now that what concerned me. Incidentally, when she shook hands with me, she pressed a tiny piece of folded paper into my palms. Now, him being a magician, is this a trick that he does? Is this a magic trick that he, you know, how they used to take, how they take a piece of paper, he have his hands like this, and then he put a piece of paper in, and then they say, no, it disappears? Okay, girl, okay, I'm just speculating, okay? I'm investigating. He said, incidentally, when she shook hands with me, she pressed a tiny piece of folded paper into my palms, he said, I looked at it later. Now, he didn't look at it right then and there because, girl, probably he thought that Princess was passing her his phone number. He like, oh, oh, my goodness. Because that happens sometimes when you're out, when you're partying, you're at a um, club or you at some type of event. Sometimes if somebody's interested in you, they'll shake your hand and, and pass your, your number, their number to you, which means call me. They're trying to be discreet. So did he think that Catherine was flirting with him and, and you know, doing it? That's why he read it later versus opening it right then and there when she um, handed it to him? Or did she hand it to him and pushed it in as if with, with pressure to be like, okay, read this later, not now. Sometimes you um, when people who feel like they're being captured and, captured and they won't help, they will pass a clerk a letter a uh, bank teller sometimes they pass people um in public places discreet letters so that they can get help okay now that's another way to look at it but he said he looked at it later and it just had one word written inside of it and that was h-e-l-p help and i'm like okay and and a lot of people was like i read under his uh tweet what were people saying they were like well did you get a help what did you do Okay, how did you how did you handle the situation? I want to know too, because he tweeted that, and then he went on with his life and started tweeting more things. Not that night, but later on, he was tweeting as if everything is okay, everything is fine. Now, Catherine is definitely giving something with her eyes. Her eyes and her smile do not match in this picture. It's telling me that her eyes are saying one thing while she kept the royal smile on her face, and so that kind of makes me sad to see this. Okay. Whether she was crying before or not, it seemed like her eyes was crying out for help at, in this moment. But then again, I could be reading too much into it. I don't know. So let's let's move on. Because we're going to pull on that energy. But let's go ahead and finish up the, the night. Now, now, this is what concerns me right here. After he met with Catherine and Catherine pushed the note into his hand, which means I don't know if William had went to the bathroom. Was he preoccupied somewhere else? But... Later on, I see a photo of him now talking to Prince William. 
Now, a part of me felt like, did he run straight over to Prince William and tell him, Catherine, you know, Catherine participated in a joke. She put uh, a leather in my hand that said, help. <laughs> I thought it was so cute and hilarious. I don't know if he did that or not, but he went on to speak with Prince William. And you know how men are, especially men, honey, um, of a similar statue. Okay, they both got the bald head, baby. They both over here, you know, almost looking like twins, except William is taller. And it seems like, in this picture right here, it seems like Darren is very much pleased to speak with William. William is very excited to talk to him. William is, you know, engaged in the conversation. Now, what caught me off guard is this a handsome man standing next to him who seemed like he bored and over the conversation and he dazing off. Baby, he's thinking about what he's going to do or eat later on for dinner. I don't know what why he dazed off like that. Did At this point, did he tell this man that Catherine had gave him a help letter? I don't know. Had he read the letter at this point? I don't know. But we're going to see when it comes to these cards. But this man right here is not engaged in the conversation when it comes to what Prince William is saying. It's like he daydreaming a little bit. And as you can see, Catherine is behind, beside him at this point. But she's talking to this gentleman in the red suit. So it's like sometimes they're standing side by side, but they be talking to different people. Okay, I guess they're trying to, you know, divide and conquer to meet all the people that they can meet. And, you know, so they can get through the meet and greet. So they can get to the show. Now, it seems like now they're taking, they're about to take a seat. And they're heading over to their seat. Now, this person right here um, on Twitter, name is Lee Hood. And it said, it was great to watch the Royal Variety performance. And we got to see Princess Catherine, the Princess of Wales, and Prince William. And, the Prince, Will and Prince William's reaction to the performance was priceless. So this seemed like she was watching them. She girl, she was watching the performance and watching the princess and and Prince of Wales. Now, what got me about this picture is as they walk into their seats. That's what I'm assuming, girl. I'm just kind of putting together that they were walking to their seats. And the way that William is holding her hand is suspicious to me. She has on her wedding ring. She has her clutch in her other hand. Okay. Which I'm assuming is in her right hand. So she has her clutch in her right hand and she's holding his hand with his with her left hand. So it seemed like he probably escorted her to the seats. Now, have you guys ever held someone's hand, especially someone you love, hand like this? Now maybe this is a royal way because it seemed like he's, he has his hands like this and her hand is over like this. Now he could be holding it just like this. Or is he holding it right here like this and putting pressure to her wrist? Now, some men who are allegedly abusive, when they're out in public, in order to so-called keep their girls in line, or when they feel like the girl is getting out of line in some kind of way, they have little pressure points that they will push on the girl, whether it's on her side. You know, he can't touch her neck because people are watching. So, and you know, it kind of hurts if you push in this area right here. So it seems like... He, I'm confused. It's like I said, to hold her hand like this, and she walked. That don't seem like I'll be steady walking down like this. I want. I would rather hold my husband's hand like this. Okay, maybe even like this. Now I don't think they will hold hands like this, and maybe this is too provocative in public. So maybe that's a royal way to hold your wife's hand. But we hardly ever see him hold her hand. So I was kind of like, oh, look at them holding hands. But she's not paying attention to him. She's, again, hiding behind her curtain bang. He, at this point, he got on his fake smile. Because you hardly ever see him put on his fake smile. But he got it on at this point. So is he smiling and pushing pressure into her wrist some kind of way? Letting her know, oh, uh, Daryl told me about the hip leather. Or is he putting pressure right here like, where did you go when I went to the bathroom? I told you to stay outside. I don't know, girl. But I, I did notice that. And I was very shocked by the way he they were holding hands and it seemed like she was holding on real tight as if is she gonna fall or is she holding on tight because there were pressure that was being pushed here and it kind of hurt and so she kind of gripped real tight but her hands were very tight here okay it seemed like she almost had a fist here like while he was pressuring putting pressure here i don't know y'all let me know what y'all think maybe that's a way that they hold hands but I was very concerned here. And then she got that smile on. But this time, this smile is not as radiant or as solid. This time, it seemed like, oh, I'm putting this smile on. But you're hurting me, William. That's just what I'm picking up. You know, that's what my intuition is telling me. So, as you can see, they're finally now 
at at their seats okay they're in the balcony you know where you would feel that the royals would sit they sitting up here with i guess other royals other important people here and at this point as you can see Catherine has her royal fake smile that hard smile that she had that feel like it, it hurts and, she, and after she done been pressure you know had the pressure point pushed on her arm now she's straightened up i guess but look at him now now he looks very frustrated he, he's clenching his uh cheeks his his jawline is being clenched like he pissed off like mm. he acts like we don't see it why are you clenching your your cheeks why are you clenching your teeth like that so and he's clapping okay everybody's clapping i guess that's the opening or the closing i don't know Catherine just standing there her posture has changed a little bit it's like she's a little slumped but at the same time, trying to stand straight. But at the same time, she's not as poised as she was when she was doing the meet and greet. I like that dress that she has on for sure. Her hair is still in place. So the show starts. And as the show starts, Darren goes out and does his monologue or his show. Or he's hosting. He's starting. I don't know what's going on here. But as you can see, somebody did an article that said, Prince William almost steals the show at the Royal Variety Performance. Which means... Girl, William didn't do nothing that show. All he did was he sat up in the balcony and, you know, I guess laughed every once in a while. But at this picture that they took, this article was posted December 18, 2023. He still clenched very much tight-lipped, tight at the mouth here. I mean, he clenching, clenching very hard to his teeth, grinding his teeth. His, his cheeks are showing that he's a little frustrated here. He's not smiling. Now, this is the typical way I see him looking when he's next to Catherine, as if he, he's frustrated, pissed off, okay? Because you know you clench your teeth and your mouth and your um, cheeks like that. When you're upset, you're frustrated. And so it seems like almost as if he can't even hide it at this point. But he think he is, okay? Because there's no reason why you you at the Royal Variety Show and you all clenched up at the mouth. At this time, he you got to know that people are watching them, okay? I can just imagine that people are going back and forth, looking at the show and looking up at the royals or looking at their favorite celebrity if they see them, you know, see it. Like, you know, they're probably looking at Cher when she ain't performing, but I don't think Cher was sitting down in the crowd because she was a performer, so she probably was backstage. But the royals were out on display, and of course, it's just so easy to look up at them. So, I don't know if William was aware of that, but very much people were paying attention to him and Catherine all night. Now, this is how they said he stole, stole the show. They said, of course, this is what this tweet says. Prince William was laughing his head off. I'm sure it's the it's the funny jokes slash, slash stories he tells all the time. You know, the ultimate dad joke. He is such a dork. This is what they said. Now, at this point, at least somebody, either with Darren or one of the performance just really said something that was so funny to Prince William. He was just kicking and cackling, girl. He was enjoying himself at this point. He had let loose, and he was laughing real hard. Now, girl, were they, was they saying some type of um, inappropriate joke? Because he loved an inappropriate joke. It seemed like that's the type of joke that just would just crack him up. So he was just cracking up, and a lot of people were paying attention to that, taking pictures of him doing that, and they was posting it on their Twitter pages. This post was made on December the 17th. Now, again, the show took place on the 30th of November. I feel like they probably gave rules that you can't post the day of the show. You got to wait till the, the show was aired because the show was also televised. So it's like you can't post before, but the thing about it, Prince William, his post was on November the 30th, so he was posting before. He definitely was. So I guess he's the exception to the rule. And I guess when William posts, it's almost like some type of advertisement. So they were like, yeah, we'll let Prince William post. But everybody else has a rule that they can't post after a certain date. Because a lot of the posts was coming in on December the 17th, the 18th. Now, here's another uh, tweet where somebody had uh, tweeted on December the 17th. Uh, now, this person said, Megan can scheme all she wants. She, she would still be riding in her jealousy. And I'm like, girl, what did Megan have to do with the show? Megan wasn't even there. Now, why did you bring up Megan Markle for no apparent reason? That's what That was her original tweet on the 17th. And they was also showing, again, Prince William laughing, kicking, having a good time at the variety show, letting loose, cracking up. And Catherine, she over there cracking up too. But her just seemed like it's still... Now, it could have been funny to her, but it seemed like, girl, you laughing too hard. Like, that, that laugh seemed like it all hurt Catherine. 
So I guess he was like, Catherine, whenever I laugh, you laugh too. I don't know. I just feel like he says stuff like that, but I could be wrong. And then somebody retweeted, you know, on Twitter, you can retweet somebody's tweet. Somebody else retweeted on the 18th, a day later, that they love watching them enjoy the show. Speaking of the prince and the princess, they said they enjoyed them having a good time at the Royal Variety performance. Now, this is where we're going to get into the thick of things. We're going to find out what's the energy around this so-called help letter. Was, was she actually crying out for help? Did she receive help? Did Darren even take her seriously? Because he probably thought, because he didn't read the letter until later. Which means he probably did get the hint that, yeah, this is either she trying to, you know, shoot her shot. She done gave him her phone number, her contact information. Maybe she don't want her husband to see it. That's why he opened it later. And then when he opened it up, it said help. Or did he have some type of ongoing joke where they do, they do that? Even if he had an ongoing joke like that, I don't see Catherine participating in that type of joke. I think she would know better because the way the prince be acting, I think she know better than to participate in something like that. But it seemed like she could have been crying out for help. So let's see what's the energy behind the help note. Was Catherine in danger and she knew it and she was crying out for help finally once and for all? Because she knew that she was in a room with people of royal um, standard, you know, status. And they could possibly be the ones to help her. Girl, she should have passed this note over to the prince and the princess of Sweden. But I don't know if she can trust them or not. But for some reason, she trusted the magician to do so. So let's see what's the energy behind this help note when it comes to Catherine. Giving the best cards from this deck divine concerning this help note. Was she in danger? Did she need help? What is the energy behind this help note that she passed, that Princess Catherine passed to the magician, Darren? Mm, so not a lot came out here. All right, so let's see what the three cards have to say. Okay, now the first card that came out, that came out by itself, was speaking about love. Girl, was Catherine trying to shoot her shot to the man, to the magician? Did she think that bald head was sexy? I don't know, girl. But it speaks about, this is Gomori. Okay, the spirit behind this um, energy is, okay, it's of love, but is it, you see how this angel is looking kind of sad, though. It's like, are you missing your love? Are you missing the love in the relationship? Because I see a Campbell in the background. A Campbell stores a lot of energy in his hump. Okay. It seems like there's something that could possibly be in the past here that was stored up. Some type of stored up energy here. But for the most part, we're going to accept love as being a positive card. You know, love is an energy. So we're going to go with that. That it seemed like she was giving some type of love. Maybe even giving him his flowers. But girl how how is see i see this angel holding flowers just like Catherine's holding flowers here now what's next the next we got a command here there was some type of command then so it seemed like there was a command here when it came to this help note was she commanding some type of help because we see here we see uh books here it's like she tried to give him some type of knowledge give him some type of information passing along information here this card also speaks about with this command, it speaks it could speak about some type of legal help, needing some type of legal help, maybe even needing her him to call the police. I don't know what kind of help she was looking for here, but there was some type of command that was given out here. And she felt like she was giving it to somebody that could be knowledgeable, somebody who probably would know what to do with this this letter, with the command letter here. With the help letter here. And followed by upheaval. Okay. The Asmo day. Like did the day come of war, disaster. A road that was leading up to. It's like almost like she knew that something was coming for her. Had she been, had he whispered anything in her ear that she, you know, that caused him to be a dragon. With this dragon here, he is spitting fire and flames. Okay. He's called, causing some type of upheaval, some type of war. It's like war to come at the end of the road. I see here a lot of thunder and lightning, disaster, catastrophe. Knocking over, tearing things up. 
Okay. So, so behind the energy, uh, it seemed like she passed him something and she wanted to seem like, okay, here, here's a, not a love letter, but here's a letter. So maybe he thought it was out of love. Maybe he thought she was shooting her shot. And just to see that there was a command here, a, a request, one simple request, and that's help. Did he, did he go over and speak to William about this letter? Like, oh, Catherine, she's so silly. Look what she gave me. I don't know. But there was something. It seemed like Prince, the prince could have possibly found out about this letter. Or she already knew what was coming for her. She already knew what was going to happen later on because he already had pushed on her pressure points. Now, I think at this point he hadn't. The, the he hadn't pushed on his, his her pressure points i'm thinking because they was going to the seat they were doing the meet and greet so that something that probably was already leading up to this situation but at the end of the day at the end of the trails there was some type of war that was conducted at the end of the day the day had came for this war to happen so let's get into what's going on here when it comes to the love what is the energy around love okay and when it comes to Catherine and Darren, she gave him a letter. He probably thought, like, again, he probably thought it was a love letter or a number shooting her shots. So he was like, oh, I can't believe this, that the, that the princess gave me her, her gave me her phone number. And then just to look and see, it was a command on there for help. It's like, Darren, did you help? Okay. What's the energy around love when it's showing up for Catherine and her help note to Darren? Okay. It speaks about a change. So she wanted a change here. A change of energy. She wanted to change the energy to, to love for some reason. Okay. Because you want things to be out of love. Given out of love. Um, the love to be the ultimate energy in the room. It says I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So she made her move. She made a move and she felt like in order for me to receive some type of change, I got to reach out to somebody. I got to get some type of help. Was that her one time, her one time where her love was not next to her? William probably, again, he probably wasn't with them at that time for her to feel like she can press that note into his hand like that. So there was some type of change that needed to be made here. When it comes to the command here, the command that was given here, what is the energy that Catherine tried to... The, um, give Darren when it comes to this help note. What is the command here? Seemed like there was a purpose here. I know what I am here to do. So she said she knew what she was here to do. She knew she, that she was here at this because she had to write that letter. When did she write it? When she was getting her hair and makeup done? When she, uh, she put it into her little clutch purse? When did she said she knew that when she came to this variety show that she was going, she had a purpose. She knew what she was here to do. She knew she was going to be meeting and greeting and shaking hands of the upper echelons of the UK or at this variety show. So that was she was trying to do. She was trying to, her command was to kind of get, receive help for herself so she can change the energy. She probably wanted to change this energy back to love when it came to her relationship. Now, there was an upheaval that happened. What's going on with this upheaval when it comes to this help note when it comes to Catherine? Okay. We got the guilt here. The guilt card. Now, was she guilty for passing this out? Okay. Um, again, this speak about her sacral, her gut instinct. She probably felt guilty about doing this because this is speak about her sacral chakra. I release in belief that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Okay, girl. Now, let's see. What's the energy around when it comes to Prince William? Okay, we got this. Look, I know we're going to stick with Darren for a minute. Now, Darren. When you receive this note, <laughs> you receive this love note, at least what you thought, this help note, what's the energy around Darren when it came to, what did he, how did he feel about receiving this note here? Let's see. Let, yeah, let's keep the same cards. How did Darren feel about this note that he received? This energy of love for Darren. Okay, we got envy here. Now, he says, I am the same as everyone else, but with different challenges. So we got the envy card here, jealousy. Now, did he think that she was trying to make Prince William jealous? Again, he thought that he probably thought it was a love letter, a love note that was being passed to him. Come to find out, it had a different command on it. Now, once you found out that the command was help, Darren, what did you do? Oh, 
And Darren said he had doubts. He didn't think it was real probably. He thought it was a joke because he's a magician. He said, I released the need to know all the answers, which means he just disregarded it. He, he said he didn't need to know all the answers what was going on. He said, don't bring him in it. Well, that's why she needed Thomas Kingston at this time, honey, because so that gives us the idea that Thomas probably knew that she needed help. Did she try to reach out to Thomas and get help? And Thomas the type of man that if she gave him a help note, Thomas would know exactly what to do. And he would go straight into action. Again, I don't know Thomas like that, girl. But it just seemed like Thomas being a, a hostage negotiator, being somebody that had military background, somebody that was uh, a man's man, I felt like he wouldn't know exactly what to do. Darren said he's just a magician. He's like, what do you want me to do, honey? I can make this note disappear. Um, he said he can make her disappear for only a temporary moment, but it just would be an illusion. It would not be a real disappearance he said he don't know what to do he don't want to get caught up in that and plus he don't want to you know men sometimes stick with other men okay especially beta males they're going to stick with somebody that they feel like the royal they think william could possibly be an alpha so they'll stick they'll make sure that they don't cross that alpha now there was an upheaval here okay so let's see how did darren feel about this upheaval okay because he knows that she's missing right now do he feel guilty because he had doubts when he got this letter okay at first he thought it was a love letter to him that she was shooting his shot okay now that you know the truth darren what's this upheaval here how do you feel about this upheaval with Catherine? and especially this help note it's all about his help note okay he said he has fears he said he was scared, girl. He said he was scared. He didn't want to cross the royals. And he had a lot of fears. He said, I realized that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So he said he's going back to this energy of love, honey. And he said if she was passing out a love letter to him, you know, he felt like, you know, he was fearful about what would come from that. And so, and he's also saying that he may even fear for her safety right now. Because now that he realized that that letter was her cry for help. Now, let's see. Did, did William find out about this letter, this help letter? I know he read, read on it on the 16th. Because that's when he posted it. 16th of the 17th. That's when Darren posted. Oh, Catherine gave me uh, help. And so, and you know we haven't seen her after the date of December the 25th of 2023 and seemed like William and now he probably didn't re read the tweet when it first came in but he eventually saw the tweet he was like Catherine did you try to give out a, a help no did you try to cry out for help and was she punished for that at that point and then we ain't seen her since so let's see what's the energy around Prince William when it comes to did he ever find out about the help note okay it said oh she who knows. So it said, yes, he did know. He knew about this letter. He found out eventually about this letter. Because this card speaks about somebody knowing. It says he received wisdom, clarity, and he came up with a resolution, girl. Ooh. Okay. Now, what did he do once he found out about the note? What did he do to Catherine? How did he handle it when he found out about the note? Okay. It said... She who enfolds. Now, these are feminine cards, so it's going to say she. So, you can replace it with he. Or maybe he became feminine, baby. Got in his emotions. But it says, she who unfolds. Like, let me unfold this paper and read it. Did he? Did Darren give William the paper? And he unfolded and read it. It speaks about embrace and self-care. Okay? Did he try to, you know, you know self-care? So, this is almost like caring for himself. Uh, looking looking out for his own reputation could possibly be happening now when it comes to the upheaval what can you tell me from this deck since we got it here when it comes to prince william and finding out about this unfolding this note and, and seeing the word help here it says she who hopes love hope and relationship so it seems like you know he probably was hoping okay and it seems like this is a positive card here there, it was like they was crossing the bridge here a bridge had been crossed whether it was with Catherine or with him but it, it is talking about love hope and relationship so it seemed like with this help thing it seemed like he knew about it girl he possibly unfolded it himself but it speaks about love hope and the relationship 
So something happened with the relationship, but for the most part, it seemed like it was still kind of positive here because he knew he couldn't do too much because the man that put out that she put help out there. So he had to make sure, okay, let's give it a couple of days. Let's see if anybody buy into this. Let's make sure we're acting very lovely and make sure everything is good here. All right. Now, what, what was the outcome of this help letter? Okay. Now, we're going to go from Catherine's point of view. Why did she feel the need to give out a write a help note and give it to Darren? Why did she feel the need to do so? Okay. Now, let's pull the energy of Prince William. Now, once he acknowledged this letter, it, it, things started to unfold to him and make sense concerning his relationship. And that, honey, I guess Catherine don't love me no more. That's what William feel. Let him tell it. What's the energy that caused this upheaval from this help letter when it comes to William? Okay, so we got the answers here. Now, when it comes to Catherine, the reason why she wrote this letter, it speaks about eternal youth. It speaks about her energy, her newness, her vitality, honey. honey she said she was concerned about her energy, honey. It was some type of energy release. Now, it's again, it started off with love. She wanted to change here. Okay, she wanted to change this energy here. He found out about it, could possibly. When it comes to Daryl, Daryl said that, you know, we have this card of envy here. That he said he could have been, you know, she could have very well been shooting his shot to him. But it's, it seemed like that she could have possibly been trying to make him jealous. Make William jealous by giving that note because he thought that it was a love letter. And William got clarity on it. He finally got clarity on it. And But with Catherine, it seems like there was some type of eternal love, newness here. Something new here. Something. And again, we got the skull in the background. We got music being playing here. It's like putting on some type of show. Did he like that? And girl, not death would come. It's almost like Catherine knew that if, after this variety show, after this show that was being put on, it's like the music wasn't playing the same for her. And she said that it could have possibly been a, a situation that death would come for her when it comes to this upheaval. Now, I don't know how she knew that. Now, with this card, it, how did death come? Okay, was there a broken blood vessel? Was there a broken heart energy? I see a vase here with blood platelets um, moving through it. Okay, so something was broken here. Could that represent a broken promise? Again, a broken bone? A broken organ something was broken here that had blood within it so it's like it draw blood it caused a blood situation here evolved blood okay next we have a witness here this is like somebody who knows about the situation it's like a personal evidence and to speak out so it seemed like Catherine wanted to speak out once and for all she wanted to finally ask for help because she could only take so much okay he over there pushing all her pressure points on her little body, stressing her out. She was tired of smiling all hard. But it seemed like there was a witness here. Now, was is Darren the witness? There's somebody here that has personal evidence. And maybe that's what's this help note, her giving out personal um, evidence to speak out concerning her situation, that death will come if she don't speak out, if she don't do something now, if she don't make a change here. Because the energy around her, the energy... Um, was draining her. It was no longer of love. Now, William trying to act like it was of love. He probably, you know, used some type of tactic. You know, how most people, uh, after they done abused you and stuff like that, they will come back and say, but I love you. I, I did it out of love. I'm sorry. You know, and it seemed like it ended back with that. Some people can love bomb you. But we got witness here. And then we got May Night, which speaks about madness, ecstatic energy, and energy being released. Now, again, she's trying to hold on to her vitality. She's trying to hold on to her vitals, baby. But then death will come. Some type of situation that happened that could be deadly to her. Whether it's, like, again, cutting off her oxygen, cutting off uh, blood flow. I, I see cutting off blood flow now at this point when it comes to this card. Because I do see the blood situation here. Something here is being shown here. And somebody's seen it and, and seen it. Again, this le letter could have been personal evidence that she was in, in dire need of help. And then next thing you know, the energy was released from her. 
Now, that kind of give me a choking situation, okay, now that I'm looking at it. Now, you know how somebody, if they choke you or choke somebody, uh, I'm just assuming, girl, I can just tell on TV that people be fighting for their life and then they say, no, they out cold. Now, the thing about it is some, some women say that, you know, that you can be choked because at some point people have fetishes. You can be choking and then you can wake up from it if they don't if they don't hold it and cut your oxygen off too long. The blood flow to your brain too long. But if it goes too long, then next thing you know, death will come. So it seemed like there was some type of ritual. Again, you know that royal family love a good ritual. And that energy was released here from Poison Ivory. It seemed like even from this note that her speaking out, and they probably planned something for her. Like, okay, we're not going to do this today, but you best to believe that death will come. We're going to plan a ceremony. We're going to plan some type of ritual for you, and we're going to release you, honey. We're going to release your energy. Okay, that's kind of what I'm picking up here. Okay, and who knows what ceremony that was. Now, when it comes to William, it seemed the reason, honey. Now, look at this card again. You can see this person holding a skull, and then look how they're holding it. It's almost like a chiropractor would hold your neck when he's so-called about to pop it, and you just hope and pray he don't twist too much, honey. You don't hope, you just hope that he trained enough that he don't twist too much, baby, because next thing you know, you'll be laying out. But, you know, usually they do it quite, they do it right. So, again, I, I it could be him touching pressure points. It could be him, again, that choking sensation that I'm picking up, cutting off the blood flow to her brain. Probably used to doing it, okay? Used to doing it, but he know exactly how long to hold it. But this time, he was clutching his cheek, clutch, clutching his 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 mouth, grinding his teeth, and he probably went too far and twisted or held too held too long, okay? And then they say, no, accident happened. Accident happened. They seem like they could possibly have been in the royal palace. So again, released he released too late, okay? And then her energy was gone. She didn't wake up. Okay. Now, that kind of gave the energy of when she was on, in Sandringham Estate. That could have been happening. And that's the reason. Because he said the reason for doing it was to listen to advice. Was he thinking clearly? Was he thinking with intellectual? Was he being smart? Okay. Because some men, again, they know how to, if they're going to abuse, they know how to abuse so that you won't see, so there won't be any kind of evidence. Okay, because a lot of uh, women wrestlers or women who did, uh, dated boxers said that if their boxer boyfriends would abuse them, they would hit in areas like the rib cage or they are hit in areas that going to be covered up. They won't hit in the face or they hit in the head where the hair is. I'm like, some people are so weird. Same with a pimp. A pimp, now a pimp don't care. He's going to hit you in the way. But if, if you're in front of people, he knows those pressure points to push. When it comes to a celebrity, you know he dating a celebrity. He ain't going to aim at her face, but he'll aim at the body where she can cover that stuff up. Unless he gets to the point that he's not thinking clearly, and then he responds in a way that's unusual to him. Or if he knows, okay, I could choke up for 30 seconds. But if you're angry, you're not counting the 30, okay? You're going to go beyond that. I mean, that's just what I see. I'm just looking at the cards and using my intuition, okay? And then we got this faith card here. Now, the faith card can, speaks about trust. Okay, I trust you. I trust just like a religion. But we all know at this point how religion goes. Can we completely trust them? Because sometimes they have their own agenda. But with this religion card, it speaks about unwavering trust and confidence. Now, he was probably confident that he could do this and get away with it. Confidence that he done it before. She woke up plenty of times. It's not a big deal. But this time it seemed like there may have been a change here. Did she go to the Lord? Okay. Did, did, did she lose so much oxygen in her brain that even if she still got some type of vitals, it could be very weak here. Because remember, it's talking about her vitality, her energy. Her energy could very well be very low here in between being alive and being dead. Death. Okay. It's like she's lying in between in that spirit world here. Like, she's not 100% gone, but it's like a couple seconds more, she would have officially probably been gone when this choking thing. So, is he over there praying? Oh, I hope everything turns out okay. I didn't mean to. I, and it's just a thing that we do. It's just a little kink that I have. She liked being choked. It's like, no, no. Now, girl, I did hear that some women like it. I'm like, what's wrong with that? There's something that's mentally wrong with anybody who would like that. But they say it's a kink. So maybe, did she not say the cold word? It's like, how can she say the cold word if you're choking her? How can she give that out? 
it's just so weird to me these different type of kinks that developing in this day and age but we got the faith card like maybe somebody was praying you know you done twisted too long you done held the neck too long you done did something and now you're holding her skull it's like or you're cutting out oxygen because she spoke you know you're covering the mouth and everything here the mouth is being covered about something that she spoke about because she spoke about and he found out the evidence of it whether it's reading that tweet or did Darren go over and give him the letter? I don't know. I don't know what's went, what went on here. But next we got discipline. He disciplined her. Okay, now all the readings I have been doing is about him discipline, keeping her in line when it comes to her being able to play the game. Okay, and then you see the storms that's going on behind closed doors. I mean, not closed doors, the uh, background. You see a lot of thunder and lightning. Things happening very fast, loud. Um, just like a storm of, of nature it speaks about training consistency there was some type of consistency here and then practice okay putting her she's sitting there on the royal on the royal couch baby playing music okay playing alone she could very well be trying to play alone and then he disciplined her in some type of way so he tried to act like it's a kink it could possibly been a kink but he said that, you know, that's just a royal discipline. That's something that we do to keep our wives in line so that she can always have that royal smile, that royal thing going on. Now, again, I, I, I do see her trying to speak out. I don't know if she knew how to do it. Darren definitely didn't know what to do with the letter. He didn't know. He even put it as a tweet. You know, he could have thought that, you know, he had a lot of doubts here. And he was fearful. He was fearful of what could be happening to her what's to come for her maybe even what's to come for him she felt a lot of guilt because it seemed like prince william found out about it he unfolded everything it, it he came very much um a lot of knowledge about it. he received knowledge about this help letter and baby there was a punishment that was being passed out some type of discipline here now we're gonna pull from one more card here i think we don't went long enough but let's let's get some some um information from the fairies here let's see what the fairies have to say about this situation okay fairies what do you have to say about this help note that was being passed out by Catherine? what information do you got about this help note when it comes to Catherine? okay and what do you have to say about this help note when it comes to darren's energy okay what do we need to know about darren's energy when it comes to this help note okay now, what do we need to know about Prince William's energy when it comes to this help note? Okay. Everybody trying to cover up something with Catherine. Everybody trying to stick their cards on top of Catherine's card. Now, when it comes to Catherine's cards in this help note, it said music. Again, we see a lot of music here. Now, again, we know that Bride to Show had a lot going on here. Okay. Music. It says, listen carefully. Now, listen carefully. For there may be a message in the music you hear. Okay, there may be a message in the letter you receive. Not only in the music, did the music touch her? Did did she know that, you know, she was going to go and be with um, celebrities, people of high statues that could possibly help her? And so it says, listen carefully, okay, to the music. Maybe the music touched her. We do see music here a lot here with her. It says, music can lift your soul, rekindle memories, and charm fairies to your door okay so it seemed like she wanted fairies to come to her door to help her she wanted to charm people she wanted to lead people leave a paper trail leave some type of music okay let people hear what was going on the in her soul okay she definitely was showing that in her eyes when she was talking to darren her eyes were saying help me while her while she had a smile and, and engaging with him after she passed the note now he probably thought that she was giving him the googly eyes and flirting Followed by, ask for help. Okay, this is definitely confirmation that she was officially asking for help. The fairies even understand that she was giving out, reaching out to somebody, a masculine energy. She was hoping that she was reaching out to somebody that could be angelic, that can help. It says, the angels are celestial beings who protect everyone. And the fairies say, now it's the time for you to ask for angelic assistance. So she wanted some type of assistance from Darren. Now, out of all people, why she reach out to Darren? But I, I guess because of his show, she probably felt like, you know, I'm being, I'm in, he invited us here. We're here because of him. And so she gave that letter to him. 
she did she give it to a, a couple of other people i don't know but she pressed it into his hand and she was definitely asking for help it's like her soul was reaching out for help oh bless her heart bless her heart when it comes to darren in this note it says healing here okay it says now's the time for you to give and receive healing exactly darren that was the time for you to step up to the plate and help her but Darren said he was scared. Everyone, it says, everyone has a natural ability to heal others. Yes, Darren, even you. See, Darren Darren probably feeling guilty about this. Okay, he said he had doubts about it. He didn't know that it was real. It was true. And so, he had the ability to heal her heart. Okay, because she was definitely reaching out on a soul level. And then even physical, she, had, she, she was clearly asking for help. Okay, she was clearly asking for help here. Now, when it comes to her husband, Prince William, it says his pure intentions. Now, what was his pure intentions? Did he have some pure intentions? Was he being nice? Was he being good? Was he, at that night, he probably felt like, Catherine, I wasn't even doing anything to you. I was just having a good time. You the one messed it up. Who knows? But it says the fairy of manifestation will help you to use your wish wisely. Manifest your heart's desire with pure intentions. And for the higher good of all. Now, did he have pure attention? Even the fairies seemed like they kind of doubted a little bit. They said to to if in order for him to manifest what he really wanted here, it says it says the the fairy of manifestation will help you, William, to help William, and use his wish wisely. So there was some type of wish that was given out here, a wish fulfillment. And it says in order for William to manifest his heart's desire with pure intention. For, and for good for all okay so he may his his intention may not have been as pure when it comes to Catherine or for all people in you know involved did he have true pure intentions when he was out here making some type of wish or manifestation here I don't know if he did I'm questioning it so that's going to be the reading here so it's clearly she was definitely asking for help on a soul level she was trying to reach out to higher beings here Definitely he'll not reaching out to higher being. Darren, he dropped the ball. Okay. He said he had doubts and he was fearful. And they the that was his time to actually heal the situation to help her. So that she wouldn't be going through healing right now. But yeah, he was scared. And he they said, even Darren, yes, Darren, Darren, you. You had the ability to help her. And you I don't know if you did, baby. Okay, because you see we ain't seen him since. But with um William, did he have the purest intention? Because he tried to act like he, you know, was having a good time. Love, he said, you know, he was, you know, he was focused on his relationship. He, he was show, out showing his relationship. But it seemed like because she handed out that leather, he said that no, no. He said at, at the, he said at William, as far as William is concerned, he had pure intentions. He seemed like he wasn't even doing anything. He just wanted to have a good time at this show. But it doesn't matter if you, a week before or a month before, this lady was feeling scared. And she probably tried to catch you with your guard down, knowing that you were thinking that everything was all good. This She felt like now was the time to reach out. But I don't know. I think he caught wind to it. And because he caught wind to it, there was a discipline that needed to be handed out to her. And it seemed like he handed it out. Okay. And so when we haven't seen her yet. So that's going to be the reading for the help note that was passed out at the Royal Variety Show. And it was very unbelievable what was happening. And even Darren said it was unbelievable. He had doubts here. But Darren, you dropped the ball, baby. Okay. But that's going to be the reading. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch me on the next one. And I will talk to you later. Bye.